has been made. In, in fact, even before the law, even, um, even before um, Christ came, David in his Psalms wrote about this in saying that in Psalm 139, I would praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. Now the body has been designed, the physical body has been designed to relay information of mental impulses seamlessly from the brain down the spinal column to the cells and tissues of the body. Now when this does not happen, there has been an alteration and the body is prone to infection and ultimately disease. Because somewhere down the pathway of the nervous system, there has been a subluxation or the blocking of the mental impulses. Now this can be compared to the freeways or highways of big cities such as Dallas or LA. Now these roads are designed to coordinate large volumes of traffic coming from all directions, crisscrossing over and under each other in a smooth, orderly, ma in a smooth, orderly manner. If there is an accident or repair on the road, traffic is backed up, in some t cases slowed down for miles and halted, and therefore the ultimate result is we have unhappy drivers. Now the mental impulses from the brain are no longer flowing freely and the rest of the body suffers from this alteration or misalignment. The entire body must immediately address these circumstances and adapt to the circumstances that it has by recruiting other muscles, organs, and tissues to maintain to a close, an, as close to a maximum level of health. But with this alteration in the way, the body adapts itself to improper patterns of living. Of living. So this improper pattern is the new normal for the body. And it's only when a doctor comes in and addresses the situation are these pathways cleared and we can continue to function at the at the peak of our uh, at the peak of our function bodily. Now, in the Christian faith, the Lord has provided a body, His church. Believers in Him are intended to function seamlessly together in pursuit of salvation through provoking one another in love, joy, edifying spiritual thoughts and actions to maintain their focus on Christ. Amen. So, in the end, they will not be ashamed go before Christ, and Christ will not be ashamed to call them brother because they have maintained their connection to Christ, who is the head. Yeah, amen. Now, just remember, as our own bodies are subjected to disease through the misalignment of the spine, so can the body of Christ. For Christ, as I said, is compared to the head or the brain of the church, which sends down mental impulses through his spirit. These impulses are dispersed through apostles, prophets, or preachers to us, the muscles, tendons, nerves, and every joint that supplieth for the edifying of the body. If this connection to the head is not maintained, there are disastrous results. Right. That's right. If Christ cannot speak to every part of his body that he created, the entire body suffers. We can see this in our own lives personally and the condition of the church at large. Yeah. The only remedy to this condition is to remove the areas of misalignment in our lives so Christ can effectively communicate his desires, not only to us particularly, but to us so that the whole body can be edified and built up, to be free of this interference. Now, just as a chiropractor or other health physicians are trained to relieve the body of these subluxations by delivering an adjustment to the bones of the spine so the brain can effectively communicate it's 100% to the body and the body can maintain and the body can go back to its maximum level of health. The Lord has given us a charge to speak the word in season and out of season. So Christ can deliver through the, through the foolishness of preaching a specific adjustment to his body resulting in a better communication with the members of his body. Amen. Amen. Therefore, the result is all the members of the body can grow and Christ, of all the members of the, of the body can grow onto, perf onto perfection in Christ. Mm -hmm. Therefore, my, my challenge to you is to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. The working out is presumed that the believer is in an active or proactive state. He is going on to perfection. He is running the race yeah. with patience. He is looking towards the head, always maintaining that connection. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just as our 
Our physical bodies can wreak havoc if not properly maintained through good health. As I said, so can our spiritual bodies. Now my exhortation to you is to look towards Christ, the head of the body, so that you yourself will be edified and we as a collective body will be edified because of your maintenance to the connection of the head that is of Christ. I'd like to ask God's blessing on the remainder of this day. And dear Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would allow us, Father, to always search ourselves and to see whether this connection to you, Father, is, main, is always maintained so that, Lord, you can deliver um, what you have for us personally and also to another brother so we can minister to the whole body of Christ. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless the remaining um, time that we have with you, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, open up our hearts and minds so that we can receive um, the meditations of these dear brethren, Lord, that you have given to them. For your name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.